Hello everyone, Silent here, and welcome back to another Truly Bad Rock stream here on Twitch. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing a fantastic and looking forward to some more shenanigans. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, let's see, we got many peoples in the chat. Sire Plays definitely was not the first person here. No you. We got Adam Grum, or Adam Gum Gum Gum. Congrats on being the very first. We also got Zero and Firemaster, uh, Clofreeze, Hennyburger, Jasmine, The Beard Boss, Against Life, I'm a Cat, Unnamed Gamer, Dejin, John John, Kyoko, Super Pooper, Deleted Gamer, CJH, Stormy Storms, Tampa, Focus, My Name's Mayo, KJ, Mimo Mum, Umbras, Katie, JJ, uh, Juliana, Cool Abhi, on the diagonal, lightning bolt, Pigo. Hello, Pigo. It's good to see you. Not often we see family. <laughs> we got Mr. Chips and Mytho Greek Fire, Mel Flaming. So many people. Comics is better. Everybody's here tonight. Welcome, everyone. We even got King YouTube, Leroy Jenkins, and Milk Dud. Hello. Let's hop into the game, shall we? We got we got stuff to do tonight. We got Swelly Two on the server. He's doing a little bit of rate test for the iron farms. All four of the iron farms have been running for 26 minutes, 27 minutes as of right now. And we're going to see the hourly rates of those dudes. First thing we're going to do is wipe out this cobblestone over here because this is all very ugly. We don't want none of this. Toy cat is yes. That is all I have to say on the matter. <laughs> Hello, paper giant. How you doing tonight? So, tonight we are going to be preparing for mob farms and other forms of plans and projects and stuff like that. Uh, we're mostly going to be doing a lot of resource gathering and chilling. We'll get into maybe a bit of building. We might discuss the base plans and other things. We'll see what happens, really. We got kind of a loose idea of what we need to do. Anything else that happens on the sidelines of that is just kind of bonus content for your faces. By the way, today is the Mob Farm did finally release on the YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It is there. I feel like everyone is kind of like looking forward to it though because it's already doing one out of ten of the recent videos. So that's good. Seems like y'all are enjoying that. Where will I build the farm? It's probably going to go directly above the, uh, the Guardian Farm actually. That's kind of the idea anyway. This is going to be the farm and area of doom, so we're going to have like all the things. You can consider all this bonus content? Very fine. <laughs> I mean, really it is. All live streams are bonus content. You're going to build them up farm tomorrow? Very nice. So we need to actually set up some bamboo farms uh, before I can build it, I think. Although that being said, I might have enough of bamboo back at the main base, or the, the starter base rather. Because you know how we built up that little teeny tiny bamboo farm at the start of the season? Yeah, we might have enough bamboo in that. And I should probably go harvest that today. Because it's only got like a double chest of storage. And I think we need at least two double chests to make all the scaffolding that we need for that. You got to build a bamboo farm? Yeah. It requires like literally two double chests of bamboo. It's actually a very convenient materials list count because it is 3,456 items. So, three, four, five, six. <laughs> which is exactly 54 stacks, which is exactly one double chest of items. I did not plan that at all, but I was doing the materials list and I was like, oh, look at that. It's exactly a double chest. <laughs> I love those kinds of coincidences. I mean, 16 platforms that are 8 by 27. I did not expect that to be a perfectly round double chest, but it is. It's great. It's pretty fun. So if you've seen that mob farm video, what do you guys think about it? So you're going to have three farms in the area? Oh, no, no, no. We're going to have more. More than that. Many, many more. <laughs> You're surprised it worked pretty well in Java? Did you build that farm in Java? Because I wanted to test that out as well. Um, if that farm works in Java, tell me that it doesn't, but DM me on Discord real quick. 
thank you. <laughs> You're surprised by the size. It's actually a relatively small farm. If you check out the mob farm that we did for 100k, which got 7,000 drops, by the way, that thing is significantly bigger. It has much larger platforms. Uh, I think the, the bottom collection zone with the water streams, that's like... I want to say it's like 40... No, the spawn platforms are 48 wide instead of 27. So it's got to be like 60 wide. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Silent 2 is on the server. We're going to we're gonna pop off here real quick. I'm, I'm distracted by this. Hold on. Let me find that world in my saves real quick. Minecraft files, public world downloads, farms, and mob farm. There it is. I got all my worlds organized. Yeah, let's go check this out real quick. This is the mob farm that we did for 7,000 or 100,000. It gets 7,000 drops an hour. Uh, this one has eight trident killers. And as you can see, this one is so much bigger. Look at that. I think it's 48 blocks wide. And then these water collection platforms are massive. That's kind of the main inefficiency of the farm. But you can see everything does go to the kill chamber. So we got a trident killer there. A trident killer there. One there. One there. Four on the other side. This one uses the instant push. But you gotta deal with the spiders walking off. It's really annoying. So yeah, this one required like significantly more materials. Look at the size of those roofs. That's definitely more than 7,000 blocks. <laughs> that materials list is a lie. <laughs> okay. Too lazy for proper item collection. Yeah. Too lazy. For, yeah. Yeah. That seems. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I put three signs though. That's not very lazy. So yeah, this is the the hundred K video, and now we got one for a third of a million. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Let's delete this world. I don't need this. Boop. Goodbye. Back onto the server we go. So how long did that take? Uh, the... Well, what are you talking about, first of all? Because we got, like, two conversations going on. We got one about these mob farms, and we got one about the iron farms. Iron farms, that took, like, two weeks. Because pain. This mob farm... I've been working on this since December. I wanted the mob farm today to go out on Christmas. That was my idea. Um... But yeah, they didn't work out nearly as, as well as I thought it would. So I've been putting in a lot of hours just testing out various platforms and finding issues with everything. The old mob farm, that one was fairly straightforward. Because back then, we didn't have despawning. And the entire simulation distance spawned mobs. Like the entire area, bedrock to world height, didn't matter. Nothing ever despawned. It was, it was very fascinating. And very terrible. The worst system in the god darn world. <laughs> Nearly didn't censor. But that's fine. But yeah, that system was so bad. It was so dumb. The, the worst, most idiotic system in the world. What we have now is so much better. It's actually like, you know, got some intelligence behind it. It's great. We're going to go buy some shulkers. We might buy some diamonds as well. And I should probably buy some uh, some rockets. So I'm not entirely sure how long the last one took. I think that one took like less than a week. It was probably like three or four days total. <laughs> we got exciting mage with a weird flex. So it's actually just a sign. Yep. <laughs> Nice. I like it. GG's. Uh, I, that's something I didn't specifically mention in the video, but yeah, you can technically build the mob farm. Ghasts. Uh, you can technically build the mob farm on all sides, and you can build it above you and below you as well. I have not tested that out yet, and I'm not sure what the rates of that would be. Uh, it sounds like a lot of work. If you check out the world download, I say it's a whole lot of work. So much work that I didn't do it. So you very well might be able to get over 10,000 an hour if you build four of them. But then again, that's like a lot of work. A Galactic Goose, thank you so much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. I love the name. And you're following as well. Galactic Goose, that's a good name. Galactic Goose. <laughs> very nice. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing good today. Welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. We also got Yellow Blank with a follow, Zombie Slayer with a host, we got Crispim with a host as well. 
10 million fireflies with a follow and lusher with a follow too thank you so much yeah we'll do the sign once we're back at the chunk town we got lots of stuff to do How do we get out of here? Okay, we gotta go this way. So, are there any shops that sell shulker boxes? I'm aware of the one in shop that's like right over here, but I don't know their prices. And I would like to shop around before dropping diamonds. So, this is the one in shop. I really like this one. This one's quite nice. I like how it's built. So, shulker boxes, three diamonds each. See, that's what I mean. That's kind of expensive. Free head with every purchase. Oh, actually, I did purchase uh, some cores here the other day. I should take one of those. I didn't take my head last time. Hmm. Okay, so if that's what's sold there. Jesse B's shop. Yeah, I think that one's up on the hill, isn't it? Oh, it's actually raining right now. This is perfect. I can actually get around without my rockets. So Jesse might sell shulkers in here. Rockets. Shulkers. Three diamonds per box. Oopsies. A diamond for two books. Okay. Hmm. Rockets are sold out. Shulker shells. Ten diamonds for twelve shells. So what's the price per box? So if it was twelve... Because that's, that's six shulkers. Ten diamonds for six shulkers. Didn't she sell diamond ore here before? I was going to buy all the diamond ore, but that's gone now. So six shulkers. Ten for six. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. It's literally half the cost. <laughs> I'm being required to do math, unfortunately. So yeah, three diamonds per box. It's three, six, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen for six whereas this one's ten for six how many diamonds I got 36 okay so ten for six that's probably gonna be the best deal that we get isn't it do you guys know of any better ones Beard sounds tear shop that's a fair point actually I think all of his are a diamond block however yeah, because you did get shulkers with uh, his loot. Where's his loot at? Loot! Let me in! Let me in! Okay. So, tier 3 is bone blocks. So, how much again do these cost? Uh, tier 1 is one diamond block. So, it's a diamond block for one shulker, but you get the stuff inside of it. Heads. I don't want those. Oak leaves, tridents, nautilus shells, soul sand, basalt, string. I will need string. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, so we'll just go back to Jesse's shop then. That seems about right. Okay, cool. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> it's uh, surprisingly way cheaper just to craft your own. Okay. Whatever. That's chill. Ain't got no issues with that. Now, while we're here, I also need some more rockets. So Jesse's sold out. So we gotta go down to Swack Wizards. One diamond for three sacks. Boop, boop, boop. Mmm, diamonds. I burn through rockets. Take your diamonds and get out of here. And by get out of here, I mean I'm leaving. And I think that's it that we need for today. That'll give us everything that we need to gather the resources. So let's head on out of here, shall we? We shall remove ourselves from the situation. And it will be great. Okay. You didn't get a notification and you're late. How dare you? You're fired. 
You're fired. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and turn on the uh, the Pico Trader real quick. And you guys can do some Pico Trades if you feel like it. Otherwise, we are going to pop the fireworks into the box of use. And save those guys for later. We should also put our sword away. I need to get a bunch of magma blocks. I need to get myself a bunch of sand again. We need to do, like, all the mining. Okay, six of those, six of those. There we go. Okay, we got Pico Traders at the Wazoo. Let's make it so we can actually see what you guys get this time, shall we? We're hoping for Blackstone and Quartz. That's really what we need. Oi, there's a spider at the AFK spot pushing around silent too. Dude, get out of here. You're stupid. He literally almost pushed me off the AFK spot. I was like halfway, halfway over the block on the, on the ledge. Punch, die spider. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, the first one is going to be from It's Sand. We got, what was that? Arrows. Yay. Next one is from Sire. With the arrows again. Woo. We got Super Pooper with the quartz. Oh, yeah. I like quartz. Adam with the gravel. Gravel's all right. We got Flaming with some leather. Leather's always good. Chill RX. I don't think that one actually worked, did it? Oh, yay. Blackstone, finally. And then we got Archimendez with Crying Obsidian and Pizza Rolls for the gravel that's not too bad only eight blackstone though the first time that we did this we got like 48 blackstone so it's not that great thank you all so much for your redemptions i do appreciate it we're gonna head back to the base now do that weird flex and carry on our wayward oh that was a fortune pickaxe why am i using fortune that's silly Blackstone is the best block, for sure. I cannot be your dad. No, I'm sorry. No, not happening. I can be your uncle, maybe. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got Dan Bigby subscribing for five months. Thank you so much. That's really nice of you. Five months is quite a while, isn't it? Jeez, time flies. We also got Ratty subscribing tier one, or sorry, gifting a tier one sub to Streamlabs. What? Hold up. Gifting subs to the robots. Come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Streamlabs, Vidbot, and Nightbot have all received, <laughs> received gift subs. <laughs> Even the bots around here gotta be subscribed. <laughs> uh, all the add-ons are from Foxy Notail. You can go watch his YouTube channel for them. For the mob heads and everything. Oh yeah, Pretzel has one too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pretzel is subscribed. <laughs> uh, what are you smelting? How long have we been away? Because you've not smelted that yet. That's silly. Pretty sure we chucked that in there a couple days ago. Okay, so the bamboo is going to go into that box. How much bamboo exactly do we have? We do need to build bamboo farms, but I'm not sure if we want to build them immediately or if we want to wait. This one's bamboo. Okay, that's a that's an okay amount. Let's take all that and go up to the base. It's one bamboo to one scaffolding, essentially. And then for every six scaffolding, you need one piece of string. So we might go buy a shulker of string from somebody. Or maybe just, like, grab some. I don't know. I'm sure, like, there's people on the server that got lots of string. Hell, we might even have a whole bunch, honestly. Bamboo farm is apparently producing kelp. Ah, yes, yes. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's a hybrid farm. The sugarcane farm also produces kelp as well. Uh, we got a total of two stacks and 11 of uh, things. 
Oh, by the way, we're just getting a sub bomb of YouTube subs. I was wondering why I was hearing so many notifications. My god, that's like 30, 30 YouTube subs. <laughs> I should probably unlink my YouTube account from Streamlabs because, yeah, that's a little bit weird, isn't it? Getting a massive sub bomb like that. Because that's just a backlog. That's not like real time. If it was real time, man, we'd be gaining like a couple thousand subs a day. We'd probably be gaining like 10,000 people a day. That'd be great. I'd like that. Can we can we have that happen? You guys might get that face reveal after all. <laughs> 10,000 subs a day, 300k a month. We'll be at uh, a million in like two months. Let's do it. Come on. Well, that's only a million though. We need we need 10 million. Okay, well we'll be at 10 million within uh, a while. Yeah. See, even if yeah. <laughs> Even if you're getting 300,000 a month, it still takes a hell of a long time to get to 10 million. This is so far away. It's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. It's not a thing that happens. Never gonna face reveal! Concerning evil laughter sounds, yes. You kind of like the suspense. Is it suspenseful? Oh yeah, we need to do that weird flex sign. Oops, you don't want to forget about that. You're getting a crimson sign because that was the closest one to my cursor. You're welcome. Okay, where is this gonna go? It's always the uh, issue trying to find out where these are gonna go. You're gonna go right here because there's already one on the sign anyway. So it's really just a sign? <laughs> this is great. I love it. Thank you, Exciting Mage, for the, uh, <laughs> for the sign. <laughs> yep, it's actually just a sign. Uh, ridiculous. Okay, moving on. We should get ourselves some chicken, because I don't like eating fish. Bye bye fishies. Be free. We got all this chicken. Like, I'm gonna be eating things. May as well be eating things better than fish, right? Also, I don't need that prismarine. Honestly, you bet I'm blonde. Okay, we haven't done this in like ages, but in the past years. Sometimes I'd ask you guys what you thought I looked like just based on what you know just to see So what do you think I look like let me know in the chat if you just say very ugly, I'll be I'll be Rather proud more than anything <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go off to the mining desert. I need to get myself a couple more shulkers of sand That's the wrong tunnel Drew Silent in essay chat. I don't know how to say that word. And I don't know what that is either. But that's cool, I guess. I, I think. Maybe? I'm Asian for sure. Okay. I mean, we're all just expressing our opinions here. Metallica t-shirt. I wish. That would be a pretty cool t-shirt. I, I think I'm wearing like a... I think the current t-shirt that I'm wearing is like six years old and I got it at the thrift store. It was bright yellow when I got it. Now it's like a, a mustard. I looked at it in the mirror yesterday. I was like, wow, this shirt is not yellow anymore. It's like mustard. <laughs> you think I look like green. Very tall. I'm 6'9". Ah, nice. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a matured SpongeBob. Wait, <laughs> you think I'm mature? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't check out. The SpongeBob, that's acceptable. The first part, uh-uh. Nah. This stuff doesn't fly. I might have a big nose. I mean, pigs do have big noses. That's fair. This is, this is fair. This is fair. Also, I have no idea actually how tall I am. I don't just go around measuring things. I look like Peter Cabaldi. Wasn't he the doctor? 
Uh, the 12th or 13th or whatever the hell. I don't know. Their names are confusing. It's something like that. Someone and Doctor Who has the name Peter. Possibly Capaldi. I, I don't know. Mousy brown hair. About 5'7". Okay. <laughs> I'm the adult version of Peppa Pig. <laughs> uh, okay, we gotta name some brown dye Nutella. Okay. We'll do that once we go back to the base. Because we actually got brown dye back there. I look like a 20-something ma'am. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Glasses? N no one usually says glasses. Read from or read from Criminal Minds. I don't know who that is. Maybe I go. Maybe I go Google. Let me go Google. Google Red. Red. Cri criminal. Hey, Criminal Minds pops right up. What's he look like? Okay, that's respectable. Fair. Alrighty. Okay, that's fair. Just big feet. Um, uh, put fences on top of two of them on the diag on all corners. Push cart into center. Look at Pigo Trader. Okay. Can someone make a silent Jar Jar? I would love to see some silent Jar Jar fan art. That'd be great. I look like Henry Cavill. That's another person I don't know who is. Henry Cavill. Henry Cav Cavill. Oh, is that the dude that? Yeah, that's the dude that played Superman or whatever. I mean, I don't know. No comment. No comment. I look like Superman. And that's fine. That's a compliment, I think. I'm really a lady and have you all fooled. Darn straight. <laughs> Maybe I actually am a pig, but I got a really, really good voice changer. Actually, no, it's a, it's a pretty janky voice changer. If this is what I, you know, if this is like a voice changer, let's be honest. I would do something that is like at least two to five times better. Who's my favorite doctor? David Tennant and the dude after him. I forget his name at the minute. Matt Smith, yeah. DT and MS, yeah. I'm very skinny and lanky. P perhaps. Although I am a pig, so I don't know. Love some Matt, some Matt Smith. Yeah, so Matt Smith, his entire series goes very, very well together with the David Tennant series. Like, those two are so well intertwined, especially, like, when they actually pop up in each other's series. It's great. Or I guess when David Tennant pops up in Matt Smith's series, because you can't really have, like, a future Doctor pop up in a past Doctor series, because that doesn't make any sense from a casting standpoint. You've seen my hands? Well, I got big hands. Like, uh, like looking at my hands, myself, like, it's, it's, you know, it's just my hand. But then comparing it to other people's arms and stuff, it's like, oh, wow, I got, like, thick, thick old arms. <laughs> I'm George Clooney. I don't, I don't know who any of these people are. I've heard of them, I guess, but I don't really put a face with the names. Alonzi. <laughs> Okay, so we were at 54 minutes of four of the iron farms being going already. Time flies. We're going to try and get ourselves one to two shulkers of sand. That way we don't have to come back here anytime soon. And then we're going to go to the pig out trader, collect ourselves a shulker of quartz. We're going get to get ourselves a shulker of magma blocks as well. Honestly, we might be able to get some magma from the 100-100 room. Possibly. An elbow reveal. Nah, not too interested. We are encroaching on 500,000, though. Honestly, I think this year is going to be rather fantastic for the channel. 
I look tired and messy brown hair. I don't know. The fingernail reveal. Y'all already got a hand reveal. What else do you want from me? I need to wash my feet before I do a hook reveal. <laughs> hey, look at that. That ugly, stupid dude. That we don't like. But yeah, I think we're going to do rather well on the channel this year. Because, like, it's January, February, and we're actually gaining traction. Which doesn't usually happen. Like, we gained 12,000 subscribers in January. Which is our biggest gain in January ever by, like, times three. Like, in 2020 January, we gained, like, I don't know, it was, like, 5,000 or, like, four or something like that. And then 2019 January, we gained, like, 2,000. 2019 and 2020 were our biggest years. So, tell by that, we're doing pretty damn good. And then we're keeping that up as well. We're actually, like, growing slightly. Even after the December, like, because in December, we got, like, 3 million views. And... Right now, we're like 2.8. We went down a little bit uh, because I took a week break, but we're actually going back up. So somehow, we're growing in this part of the year that is known for dead YouTubes. And it's scary. Scary indeed. Look how much sand that is. It's like five layers of sand. Get me the sand. The shovel's fine. Honestly, if it breaks, it's a fortune shovel, so it's fine. It can, it, it's allowed to, it's allowed to not exist anymore. I am a little bit afraid that we might not reach five hundred thousand because you know there's always that ever-present looming doubt for absolutely everything. I've never had that with a goal that we've set before. I mean, there's always the possibility, but I was always fairly confident in the goals, but I don't know. I think I think we'll do it. We'll probably have like 350 or so by the end of the month, so that's good solid progress. I don't know. YouTube is such a weird thing. It's very hard to uh, predict. Just like Dogecoin. Do an IRL shovel reveal. All of our shovels just got stolen. <laughs> We don't even have a snow shovel. But we have a snow shovel, but it's not ours. It's not very good. <laughs> Silent Whisperer Hands is now in your search history. Hold on, I want to Google that as well. Are my hands actually going to pop up? Hmm. We did this the other day, and we got some very weird results. Okay, we want two shulkers of sand. Uh, we're at 58 and a half minutes for the iron farm, so we need to switch over to the second account in a moment. Silent whisper, wi whisperer hands. I can't type my own name. Okay, the 100k video shows up. That is actually a good start. Top of the search result. If you go to images, you get the 100k video thumbnail, and then a whole bunch of my other thumbnails. And there's only like 20 results. There's only like 20 results in the images. Okay, that's not mine. That's from Reddit. That's like a Foxy No Tail video. That's from the Patron Bedrock server. That's a VOD. That's a VOD. Barlands are bust. Hmm. Yeah, Google it. It's weird. Is that a Skippy video? Ooh, gross. Why is that the first result? <laughs> Gray hair and a walking stick. Maybe in like 30 years. Ooh. Shovel's nearly gonna break. Now, technically, I do have a pig. But it's a rock. That's been painted to look like a pig. If you if you search through the Twitter, then uh, you'll see it. Okay, this happens so many times. Like, you pick up a tool to switch it out, and it doesn't switch out. Okay, uh, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. I gotta go collect the iron. Oh. As there's currently iron golems dying in the kill chambers. Okay, so we got like six stacks of iron from the first one. You guys are gonna be my calculator. So six stacks of iron 
plus open the chest. Why can I not right click? Oh my god. One, two, plus four stacks of iron. Open the chest, right click. Oh my god, this this keypad. Plus four stacks and fifteen of iron. And then for the next one, open the chest. Uh, four stacks and one of iron. Taking us to a total of 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 stacks and 5 iron. Yeah, 16 stacks and 5 within one hour. So, be my calculator, please. You guys can uh, just go ahead and tell me exactly how much iron that is. Why is that dude invisible? I mean, he's so silly. 1,029? Oh yeah, because they only got 10 villagers. Interesting. Okay, I can stop the counter now. Whoop. Hmm. Okay. 1,029. That's still pretty decent, honestly. Thousand twenty nine per hour. So that's still over a thousand iron per hour. That's great. If we go AFK for like a night, looking at like ten, twelve thousand iron. A band reveal. <laughs> okay, so that's about two fifty per iron farm then. Two fifty per hour. Uh, with the one chunk design. So the one chunk design does have some inefficiencies. Uh, for example, especially with ours, because the center of the village is very far off to one side. It should be more in the center of the iron farm, but that way the golems have a better chance of actually, like, having their spawning area overlap with the platform itself. That would give you more spawns. So that's why a bigger spawning platform is better. Also, it's just more spawn spots in general. And then also, if we had 20 villagers, that would significantly help us too. Also, uh, Pasta Nevada. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How you doing tonight? Right now, we're getting some snad. Getting some snad for some projects. Talking about various... I don't, I don't even know what we're talking about, but we're talking about things. What were we talking about? <laughs> Thank you, Minus, for the SO. I love it when we can when we can just like walk down the whole wall and just mine the entire thing in front of us. It's great. You modified one of the cow farms into a sheep farm? Nice. That's something I was gonna do a tutorial for as part of the advent calendar, but I realized that there's really no point to do a sheep farm like if you need wool build a wool farm duh and if you need food build a chicken farm or a cow farm yeah there's really no point in building a, a wool a sheep farm but they are still you know a thing that you can do may as well renewable sand went i wish I wish that would be fun. <laughs> Ratty gifting a sub to Nightbot as well. Jeez, how how dare ya? <laughs> Do we even use Nightbot for anything nowadays? Was that command from Nightbot? Oh, it was from Nightbot. Okay, so I guess we're still using Nightbot for that. We switched over all of our timers to Streamlabs. I know that much. Because we were using Nightbot for most things for like the longest time, and then we switched over to Streamlabs. I'm not sure how fully we switched over, because it doesn't really matter, but... Interesting. Nightbot's cool. We used to use it for music way back in the day, before Twitch cared about the MCA or copyright. So like, you guys could request any song. It was very dangerous. So many rickrolls. So, so many.
people with powered sheep farm. Yeah, I mean, that's a thing that you can do too. Or you can just like not build a sheep farm. <laughs> Thanks, Shadon. Glad you enjoy the contents and stuff. I don't know how much more sand we need, but I'ma grab more sand, cause like, sand's good. Sand is the good. We're gonna use all of this for glass in various areas of the base. It's gonna be turned into either light blue or cyan, depending on the project. And we're gonna be using this for so many different things. We got a lot of places that we're gonna be using glass. Glass is just such a good block, it's great. It allows you to build things, but look through them as if they weren't there. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and toss all that into there. That's actually pretty much a perfect shulker, isn't it? Look at that. We even got a bit of cacti to boot. Very nice. Take all this. Okay, so that is a little bit of the resource, you know, gathering Dunzel. Take ourselves a nap. Or maybe we'll just make Soylent 2 take a nap. Maybe I'll try to sleep on both my accounts, just to see which one sleeps first. Oh, main account one. Main account slept first. Just out of curiosity. Absolute hot garbage. <laughs> Sand is key for any build. I think so, yeah. It really is, like, quite the good. Quite the goodness. I wish there was a better way of getting it. But it is what it is. I guess we can also try, you know, buying glass from uh, the villagers at the trading hall someday. Maybe that'll be worth a shot as well. Because we do have quite a few librarians. And I think they all trade glass, so... That's a pretty decent way of getting glass, too. And then you don't have to smelt it, which is also a good thing. Okay, let's see how we can do this tunnel. That's not the right one. It's supposed to be the gravel diagonal. Where's the gravel diagonal at? That one doesn't go anywhere. Did I fly past it? I thought I, uh, I thought I blocked up the extra tunnel off the end of it. Is it all the way back here? <laughs> Server etiquette says kill the monitor trader. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, I blocked this up at one point. That way we wouldn't fly down there. If people want to fly down there, they should just, like, walk around. I don't think that even goes anywhere. So, like, there, they can walk around. <laughs> so, I don't think it goes anywhere. I think it's a dead end. Or that's, like, the super old tunnel that we had before this diagonal got installed. So, it doesn't go anywhere. Anywhere that it does go should have its own tunnel. Okay, we got this. Flying into unloaded chunks. He takes a left, he takes a right, he ducks, he dives, he misses every block on the way, he doesn't suffocate at all on the ceiling, doesn't hit the ground in the slightest, does the spiral movements with the mouse to, uh, to uh, we're just gonna cut that part out, does the spiral movements with the mouse to avoid all the blocks, flies through the magma, doesn't stop flying, and all the way there. First try, no issues. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Hello, BT. How you doing? 
Yeah, I call it innocent rabbit. We don't know if a uh, rabbit was innocent. Why is that there? That's kind of a interesting place for that. Let's see. I'm gonna throw the little rabbit dude back there. He can just stay there. That's his little hiding spot. Is the garden farm running right now? Uh, no, it's not. Should be. Boop. And we might need to go craft some, uh, we got a little bit of storage, but we might need to go craft some, some stuff later. So now what we need to do is we need to find ourselves an area of getting, getting ourselves magma blocks. That's the next thing that I want to craft. Or not craft, but you know, gather. We need magma blocks for a few different things. I'm pretty sure all this back here is just lava. We'll just put this right there. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, it's all just lava. I thought we had a few magma blocks back here, though. Was there a supply of them? Because I know they are was doing all that mining and stuff, so surely there's like a stockpile somewhere. Certainly more than netherrack than we ever need. Hmm. Oh, there's a couple stacks. We need like a shulker, though. Actually, let's see. Four times nine stacks. So nine times four. 36 stacks. Yeah, we do need a chalker. Okay. Well, that's a beginning. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess we'll go. I guess we'll go this way. We'll go this way. And just go up here. Actually, do we have any fire res? We don't. Okay, let's go to the base. Get some fire res. What are we doing today? We are preparing for many, many, many mob farms. And all of the different things that we need to do to prepare for the mob farms. So we're just trying to get all the materials right now. We might do some basic planning later and see where we want to put things and how we want to do things. But I'm not sure. We will figure that out as we get there. Also, it's worth asking how much magma blocks we got here. A couple stacks. I'll take one of those towards the project, and we might have a little bit in here as well. Mm, or not. <laughs> or not. Just not. All we're really here for is the fire res. We have one three minute. That's not really gonna do much. I guess we got totems. Uh, there's a three minute. And there's an eight minute. Okay, good. We definitely don't want to die of all this stuff on us. That would be bad. Toss the sands into there. And let's go. You're doing just about right. Very fine. We're doing good tonight. Just chilling. We got a lot of redemptions happening all of a sudden. Yeah, you can build... You can technically build six of those mob farms. Because you can build a mob farm above you and below you. And one to each side of you. Um, typically, it's not really worth it, though. Like, the effort required for the rates that you get isn't that great. Honestly, I would recommend just building a single mob farm. Because you get 4,200 an hour. If you want to build the full design, you can, and you'll get 6,400, but again, that's like double the work for not even a 50% bonus. To the uh, efficiency and the drops. So if you build, you know, four or six times what I showed in today's tutorial for six entire farms, that's going to be so much work for potentially not that much payoff. Name it with a skull, Jerry. We can do that. How far 
sharp does this go? I just want to get to the actual nether. Also, remember the chords for me? We were at 270, negative 76. Does this go somewhere? Hey, look at that. We got a little cute archway. Let's find ourselves some magma. There's a bastion right here. That's been, like, mined out. That's kind of cool, actually. I didn't know about that. Let's see. Where exactly should we go? I guess if we wanted to be a responsible person, we should probably go to the Pigo Trader and explore around there, as it's not so central. But then again, it probably doesn't matter. Because it's just a little bit of magma. Oh, I should get some Frostwalker boots. <laughs> that's really what I should have done. Um, that's all just into lava. Sometimes if you get lucky, you can find a really, really big vein of these dudes. And it can go on for like, you know, 50 blocks before you run out of magma. So you can get like literally an entire shulker of magma from like one little pocket. Like this right here has the potential for that. Yeah, see, it just kind of keeps going. They, they generate, like, huge veins. So, all the redemptions always go into a giant list. And I have to manually hit, like, you know, accept or, or complete or reject or whatever. So, no matter when you redeem something, I'll, I'll see it. Ain't gotta worry about me missing it. Yes, many, many, many magma. Now, you think there's gonna be lava above this? Nah, we're safe. We know what we're doing. Oh yeah, we do technically have a uh, magma cube spawner we could use as well, but those are kind of not really that great, honestly. It'd be better to go find ourselves a blaze spawner and then use all our slime balls that we got. Oh, hi. Oh, I died my sword. Oh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> um, cool. <laughs> that was close. That was close indeed. I didn't really even notice what was going on until it was too darn late. Get out of here. Melvin, how many of you are there? I don't have a trident. Or a sword. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, maybe it's time I invest in swords. Invest in sword. Sword is good. <laughs> Looks away from stream silent. Almost dies. Basically, yeah. Don't look away. You never know when something might interestingly happen. <laughs> We're fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Also, Beast, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the silence. We also got one of numbers, Mr. Neon Chef, Tip 70 Designs, and a couple others, including, but not limited to, Eric Otter and Poglord. Thank you so much for the follows, everybody. Welcome to Les Soylents. I hope you do enjoy Les Streams. We're turning into a Le French person. <laughs> yes, I am in danger. Thank you. <laughs> the sound alert was kind of quiet. I need to turn that one up. Oh, jeez. Any ideas for a base? I'm having troubles building my own base. I ain't got ideas for your base. Man, trying to get free base ideas out of me. Uh, we're gonna grab all that and then run. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was literally inside of that lava for a minute. But, um... It's fine. Oh, there's a magma cube here. 
That's fine. Oh, hi, Piggy Gas. How you doing? Uh, why do you have the scoreboard show offline players? I don't think there's a way to not show offline players. It's kind of annoying that it shows offline players, but what can you do, right? If you know of a way to make it not show offline, uh, tell Foxy. Because, like, right now, you got to scroll all the way down to see if anyone's actually online. Especially Tez Tom. You never know when that man's online, because you got to scroll all the way down. <laughs> What's my graphics card? I'm back to using the uh, 1080. I sent back the 3090. Many too expensive. Right now, I'm trying to get my hands on an RTX Asus Tough 3080. That's what I want to get. That's my dream card. I got the monies. It's just literally nowhere on the internet. There's one for a grand on a very sketchy-ish website, and it's been there for like two weeks, which means that everyone else think it's also very sketchy, which just makes it even more sketchy, because if everybody thinks it's sketchy, even like the super desperate people like me, then you know it's sketchy. <laughs> uh, lava somewhere. Also, ancient debris. That's nice. We need that. Did we not pick it up? We didn't pick it up. That is sketchy, right? Precisely my thinking. It's like a super sketchy website. It's like kind of broken too. It's like, yeah. Also, it's not worth a grand, so. <laughs> I mean, I bought the CPU from a kind of mildly sketchy website. It's just like kind of a low quality site, but that's fine. I had to buy other goods from uh, some less than quality websites recently as well. You know, pandemic made everything super hard to get, especially self-defense things. Okay, how much of this do we need? Many, that's how many. Oh, you meant, do I have an idea for my base? No, not at all. I need help with that. <laughs> all ideas appreciated. <laughs> right now, we basically just wanted to have, like, all of the things. All of the things. And then I'm still just trying to figure out, like, the aesthetics of uh, how to make it work, basically. If you guys ever do have any like ideas or demonstration builds or anything like that, feel free to send it my way, however you feel fit. And I would definitely check that out. The build palette is in the recent episodes of Truly Bedrock, so if you want to know what the build palette is, uh, it's all the blocks that we showed in that episode. And there's certainly a lot of ways to put it together, but it's, it's getting from point A to B that's the difficult part for me. Like, if I see something, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Like, I, I can instantly, like, basically replicate it or figure out how it works or how to do it. When it comes to builds. Like that skyscraper from Hex Regulus, like, it was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Okay, I'm gonna go build that. Didn't even really look at his video that much, to be honest. A little bit for the curves on the side, but that's just basic circles, you know. But as soon as I saw that thumbnail, I was like, oh, yep, that's what I want. Went and built it. But yeah, coming up with, like, an idea when it comes to actual aesthetic builds, that's not something I'm very accustomed to, because I'm not a builder. I can put blocks in places. But getting that, like, visual idea is difficult. There's so much magma in this cave. Oh, my God. This is, like, the magma cave. <laughs> it just keeps going and going. It's great. This is what I'm talking about. It's so easy to get magma. You should be able to use this stuff for fuel. Not gonna lie. Oh, the pickaxe is gonna break. Thanks for reminding me. I was not paying attention to that at all, actually. It is many, many magmas. 
so many, 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 many mechs. Many magmas. Whenever you find lava, just dig a hole. It'll go into the lowest spot. Lava's easy. Easy peasy. Seriously, so much magma! Does Foxy have a Discord? I think he does, yeah. I think he does. Ooh, there goes that pickaxe. Okay. This is also like a safe cave as well. Like, there's just no mobs down here. Uh, we need a new silk touch. I guess we'll use the pickaxe for a minute. We got double arrow. Thank you so much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. That's really nice of you. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing good tonight. Also, thank you to Doodle Bob for the follow. Welcome to the Soylents. I enjoy your company. Do you do doodles? Because I can't doodle. I can't even draw my own name. <laughs> oh, hi. That's a lot of lava. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of magma over here that we haven't picked up. Probably gonna be some lava in the ceiling. Because, you know, we're down at that layer in the nether. Or there's just none at all. That's always pleasant. This is great. Some more magma over there. I don't really like mining the ones in the ceiling. Especially when I've already destroyed the entire floor. But I guess I'll do it anyway. So I believe we need 36 stacks of magma. Which is like, you know, a little bit. Also, yeah, we don't have any unbreaking because unbreaking three or any level of unbreaking on your tools causes mass amounts of block lag. So if you ever are like mining and the blocks that you just mined reappear or disappear and then reappear or whatever, that's block lag. That's because you got unbreaking. Don't do the block lag. Why do I hurt from magma? I am Pigo. Uh, my, seat, my, my feet are all sensitive because I've been working in the ocean. So they're all like raisiny, that's why. So normally I got like really nice fire resistant hooves. Yeah, those are, those, it's all like wrinkly. So like all the, the magma bitties get up in there and the wrinkles, it's extra burny. That's why. In case you're wondering, thank you for, uh, for the interest in my little feats. <laughs> I'm great with coming up with random reasons for random things on the fly, aren't I? <laughs> Is he gonna get us? No, he's fine. What's not fine is all these blocks I'm leaving on the floor. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme them blocks. I want my blocks that I mine. Don't want that netherrack though. Netherrack sucks, and I don't like it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's just about every single bit of magma in this cave. Except all of this right here that I happen to completely miss. Is our ender chest like up over here, by the way? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's one entire shulker. That's 27 stacks. We need 36. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. I'm fine with that. Uh, we'll put all this other random junk into this box. Including the ancient zebras. Raisin feet. Yeah, raisin feet. It happens. It happens. I've been working in the ocean for the last month. You think my feet aren't going to become raisins? <laughs> Nobody likes raisins. Especially when they're on your feet. 
You don't need to DM Foxy to tell him things. You, you can just like, you can just put it in his Discord and it, it'll, it'll reach him. DMs really aren't necessary at all on Discord. Okay, so... There's also that right there, but that's going into the lava lake, isn't it? Or is it just like one lava source? Oh, it's actually just one lava source, okay. Well, that's not so bad. Oh, but then we got all that lava right there. Okay, it's not just one lava source. My raisin feet are getting burnt again. Sadness. Are we turning on any redemptions tonight? Yeah, we had a couple on. Uh, we had the Pingo Trader earlier. Well, I'll turn on the word ban. And we'll do the suggest pool as well. What else should we do? Tell me what you want. Tell me what you really, really want. It's not that magma. Did we miss any other magma on the floor? Not that one up there. We might have to go find a new spot, unless we want to start mining upwards towards this area. Name a mob, add time, new. I'm not allowed to say magma for five minutes. Oh, you're rude. What else am I supposed to talk about? I'm just supposed to call this like orange slices. Man, you mean. <laughs> Thank you, silly warrior, for the word ban. We're gonna call it lava blocks. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Imagine lava blocks in a bucket. Bet you can't imagine that. This keeps on going, look at this. I love these veins of lava blocks. They seriously just go on forever. <laughs> uh, well, I need a little bit more even. This is good because we hit an underground lava block ravine. Spicy cheese. Oh, yeah. Spicy cheese. That's what it is. How about premature igneous rocks? Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's just, it's just basalt that hasn't turned into basalt yet. That's what it is. Just another half a stack of lava blocks. <laughs> uh, did we really use up the entire vein? Okay, there's a little bit more over here actually. Yeah, there we go, that's what I thought. You mine one block and you find like an extra 3,000 veins of lava. Okay, so lava blocks are like down beneath the, the, the world. Like IRL, lava blocks are down beneath the world. Being all magma blocky. Or lava block. Oh, you darn you. <laughs> Being all like that. Uh, 27, 30, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Yeah. Anyway, lava's on, on the top. <laughs> Hello, water. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want a creeper farm, watch today's video on the YouTube channel. It's better. And it exists. <laughs> creeper farms don't exist. Remember when creeper farms legitimately did not exist on Bedrock Edition? Like, it was legitimately impossible to make a creeper-only farm. It was actually physically impossible. Okay, so two things of sand, one thing of lava. Uh, we got the bonus blocks and there. Cool. Bonus blocks. Always a good thing. We basically broke that fortune. May as well replace that real quick. Uh, 
we want a new fortune. Never gonna give you up. Actually, let's use Tunnel Boring Machine. We haven't used that one before. And what were the coordinates that we were supposed to go back to? Anybody? Anybody got the coordinates? It was like something. It was an amount of coordinates. <laughs> oh my god, look how much more magma's up here. Dude. We found like the magma spot. 578 by negative 312. I don't think that's it. No, that's that's too far away. Yeah, it was like 270 negative 76. Thank you, Hanny. Appreciate you. Uh, we're actually not that far from there, are we? So, 270, 70? Why is there blue and a red biome? That's not allowed. Oh yeah, this is actually the spot right here. Look at that, easy. Down to the bottom portals. What's over there? Oops, wrong thing. There's probably just another archway like that one. Okay. Uh, we got Wither Vein, the Fire Lemon. Mmm, Fire Lemons. And we got Vera and the Broski, or Bros, the Bros, the Chabros. So, uh, something like that. Thank you both so much for the follows. I do really appreciate it. Sorry if I can't say your names correctly. I'm just bad at saying the names. That's all there is to it. What can I say? Okay, silly warrior, you're getting your points back because I said the stupid word that I'm not supposed to say. And that was stupid to me. We have a name and item for a Wither Skeleton Skull. And also a mod pool. If there's any mods in the chat like you, Minus. If you want to run that. We do have to name some round die. Maybe I'll go do that real quick. I has brown, right? I think brown is in color <laughs> okay this one is gonna be Nutella whoops don't forget that we're doing all-star item namings so if you want to do some all-star lyrics name some items them lyrics thank you silver rocky for the bits I'll try <laughs> I would try and dude. Okay, that one was from the Watcher of Twitch for the Nutella. Thank you so much. I still gotta do those um those turtles. Name it item Totem of Sadness. Oh, that's a fun one. Totem of Sadness. Cool. Actually, no. We're gonna name that our t our current totem. How about that? You guys have never named the totems before, and honestly, it's like the best thing to name because it's renewable, right? And we use them all the time, sometimes. The last one that we had, we had that one for like, probably about a month. So, always feel free to name these guys. We can even get like a backlog going because we got that entire shulker of totems too. So don't forget about the totems. Totem of sadness. Which is better, YouTube videos or Twitch streams? Hmm. Interesting pool. Let me get that set up for real quick. Uh, I think this is just like in general. Not specifically for my content, so just in general. Which one do you enjoy better? Thank you! 
Huddy Hud for the totem name, and also Silly Warrior for the pull. And finally, we have a Casper for mod pull later on. Name of Fire Aspect Sword. They don't stop burning. I like it. We're gonna do that real quick. Uh, just any old sword? I guess I'll do iron. And then I'll plop some fire rays onto that one. Bloop. Or some fire aspect. I got all the fire protections. Oh, I don't have. Okay, let's go. Let's go see if we can get some, some fire. Ah, maybe we'll go to the other one. This is indeed Bedrock Edition. Let's see. Zloy, what have you got for me? Besides a llama. Or two. <laughs> Bam. Oh, it's the same stuff. I don't want that. Six levels for that. Or no, I think that was only one level, right? Fire Aspect 2. Perfect. There you go. You're welcome. Just spent, like, a bunch of levels on that. Bunch of experience. Cool. And, and then we got to toss that into the anvil, which we can do at the top of the base. But I'm also going to put away all the lapis that we got. Because I don't want that stuff. 52% of people enjoy Twitch streams better than YouTube videos. Which is to be expected since we are running this pool on Twitch. So there is a built-in bias there. They don't stop burning. And that's going to go into <laughs> the I ain't the sharpest tool and the you guys got to finish off that name and item too. This one is from Flaming. Also, the name might just be a reference to his own name or their own name and not necessarily the song, but I think it is for the song. I'm not sure. Okay. We're off to gather more materials for more things that we need to build. Because we got lots of things to build. All the time. So much stuff. And we should smelt down the ancient debris. What am I going to do with all this? I don't have enough shulker boxes for all my netherrack. <laughs> There's never enough shulker boxes for it. I literally don't think that there's enough storage options in the game for the amount of netherrack that servers get. You're about to get Minecraft. Which one do I recommend and why? Um, if you got a computer, then get Java Edition. If you got a good computer, then get Java Edition. If you don't have a very powerful computer, then, you know, maybe consider Bedrock. Because you will need some computer power to run Java Edition, run it well. But again, you can always try out Optifine as well. If you don't have a computer, then you have to get Bedrock Edition, basically. That is the extent of your options. If you got a lot of friends on Xbox or PlayStation or mobile, then maybe go for Bedrock. If you got a lot of friends on PC, then maybe go for Java. Really, it's uh, entirely up to you and the circumstances that you're in. They're both amazing video games and you should enjoy them because they are amazing video games. Okay, this box is full. Oh no, those foots. We're gonna put foots back into the box. <laughs> I nearly just threw this away without even any regard. Nearly did. Yeah, Bedrock kind of is a wild card. You can't either love it or hate it. 
Can remove all beds, workstations, and then build your iron farm from Advent Calendar and put them back? Mm. I mean, if you're tearing down an old iron farm, then yeah, you can build a new iron farm in its place. Yeah, totally. Just make sure to, like, you know, fully remove it. Okay, let's head back to the Guardian Farm. We need to expand our storage over there real quick. Especially because storage is, like, filling up. We have so many random things. We got so much stuff over there. Yeah, we do have to name uh, Sword that, but it's got to be from a naming item. We also got Firefighter Hudson and Hunter Not Taken. Thank you so much for the follows. Furthermore, thank you Arc Dino for resubscribing for two months. Very nice of you. Thank you so much. We also got Exotic with a follow too. Welcome, welcome. Okay, you want to see how powerful Riptide is? <laughs> uh, we only went up to like 530. That wasn't that that good. I went up to 900 the other day. Off of just a couple Riptides. I know we're getting distracted from like the point of what we're supposed to be doing right now, which is stuff and things. But at the same time, like... Yeah. Hey, 1,148. That is a new personal record, I believe. <laughs> it's great. Uh, and you, you stop riptiding at like, what is it? 200 or something? Because the snow? Hmm. Water. Riptide is great. It works really, really, really well in the rain. But it does not work at all underwater. So I kind of like the rain. For that exact reason. Yeah, Tridents are a good addition. If only, like, yeah. If only it wasn't just a rain thing. Also, they don't take durability damage when you use Riptide. They only take durability damage when you actually, like, physically hit something with them. So, that's pretty cool, too. Okay, we're gonna expand storage back to about here. And this is where we're gonna put all of our actual building materials. As you can see, we got, you know, four entire double chests of building blocks. Plus more. Yeah, there's several bugs with Riptide. This is a grappling trident. Oh, dude, that would be awesome. Grappling hooks are sweet. Especially when you can launch, like, multiple hooks from one from one grappling thing. Like, Terraria grappling hooks, where you can shoot, like, eight of them. They're insane. Grappling hooks are actually really, really powerful. Or if you're doing, like, a uh, Just Cause, then... Also really cool too. We can like hook two things together. Okay, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get myself some of these here chests. Chests are good. We might design a new multi-item sorter. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I need I need more than one chest. What am, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Come on, more than a single chest. There we go. At least, like, five. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and empty out the inventory real quick. And we will give ourselves some more room to work with. This thing is turning into quite the chest monster, I'll have you know. In case you, in case you didn't notice... Because, you know, it's it's a fairly subtle chess monster. Just kind of sneaks up on you. I'm going to move Silent 2 so he doesn't pick up a bunch of items. Yeah, just go up there. Actually, you still need to get the experience. So, go over above.
above the water stream? There you go. No, not not right there. Yeah, not right there. Like right there. There you go. But don't pick up the items. Thank you. Are you picking up the experience or are you just not? I don't think he is. <laughs> I don't think that's much better, honestly. Okay. So, we're gonna break this this whole chest right here. Boop. That was anticlimactic. Boop, there we go. Yeah, so I've been crafting many, many things. And when I'm actually holding the looting two swords, like, we fill up that entire storage system over there. Like, all eight of those double chests really quickly. I filled all those up within, like, 20 minutes. It's great. Even with the throwing out the fish, too. Like, it's it's so good. Guardian farm is amazing. I looked back after, like, a little bit of talking with Zloy, and then, bam, all of a sudden, entire system was just full blocks again. Or items to craft. It was just like, what? That's not supposed to happen. I read the chat. You don't have to... You don't have to cheer for me to read your stuff, by the way, in case that's... What you're trying to do, which is what you are trying to do, but you don't have to do that because that's not necessary. Yeah, the super omega flaming turbo nitro guardian farm, basically, yeah. <laughs> Essentially. You get the idea, right? That's That's basically what we want. Okay, we will break all that as well. Streamlabs is spam in the chat. You laughed at something? I don't know what, but yay. <laughs> Was it the chest? I don't know. I don't think I did anything funny. Did I do a funny? I need to know these things so I can do more. <laughs> My entire career rests on me doing the funny. If I don't do the funny, I don't get the paid. That's a little bit of experience. <laughs> Empty chest. Okay, cool. That was a funny. If you guys like my kind of uh, humor, then you might like Sir Sick as well. The Social in Inequality Crusader or whatever. I don't know. He's got a way too long of a name. But look him up on YouTube. He does like just the most nonsensical nonsense. And you might enjoy it. Maybe it's not your cup of tea. Because uh, it's not like Minecraft or gaming or anything, but... It's just, it's just nonsense, basically. But still funny. Funny nonsense. How does Twitch monetization work? Uh, basically, Twitch has decided that they're just going to spam advertisements all over everybody's stream, and there's nothing you can do about it besides run more advertisements to prevent them from running ads whenever they want. Which is such a good system. Oh my god. That's like, oh. Yeah. Run advertisements in the middle of your stream to prevent the company from running ads. What? Uh, so besides those random things that just pop up whenever and ruin the stream for everybody. Uh, basically, it's all community oriented. So whenever someone cheers bits, it's one cent per bitty. Or it's, you know, money from the subs or the tips and donations or whatever. There's various different ways. Generally, Twitch itself isn't great for monetization options. Um, you know, as a Twitch streamer. Like, bits. You guys get really, really overcharged for bits. Like, it's not just $10 for $10 of bits or whatever. It's like 13 or whatever. It's like ridiculous. And then subs? Like, Twitch takes half of that as well? It's quite ridiculous. Uh, Twitch takes half of every, every sub. That's why the tier twos and tier threes are like actually ridiculous. Don't don't do tier twos and threes. Just go to Patreon, because Patreon only takes five percent. 
of anything. Uh, plus or minus taxes or whatever. But you know, taxes, gotta, gotta have them taxes. Taxes are annoying. Companies are annoying. Everyone's annoying. I'm annoying. But at least I admit it. <laughs> Yeah, so pretty much when in doubt, Patreon. And also, that's the best way for me to manage your guys' rewards and stuff too, because you get like the fan server access over there, and you get the super spoilers and the event whitelisting priority and all that good stuff. Why do creeper farm? We why do mob farm we need creeper farm mob farm is better than creeper farm you you don't need creeper only farm you really don't need a creeper only farm what you need is a reliable source of gunpowder and that's exactly what a mob farm is but it also gives you experience and it gives you bones that you can use for other things and arrows and string and emeralds and potions sometimes and a bunch of random stuff and I got a sneeze I think maybe no I don't mm, maybe hmm you know that feeling when you're just like eh, I might have to but not really maybe I don't know <laughs> it's one of them okay what kind of nonsense we got going on in these chests over here A whole bunch of no-nonsense. This is good. I like no-nonsense. Right now it's running without looting because I am not holding the looting sword. But it's still doing pretty good, as you can see. This is as if they were just like falling to their death or whatever, but we're also getting the uh, experience from it. Which is great. If I wanted to, I could log off and then the guardian farm would be running without experience, but there's really no reason to do that. Because, you know, experience is a good thing. And that dude's got 381 levels. <laughs> oh my, look at that. That's a lot of shards. Why is Silent 2 jumping like that? That's just a visual thing. He's actually standing still. Um... So, we're on an education edition server, which allows you to apply flying to persons or pigos alike. And then, yeah, that just doesn't work. It just doesn't. Like, whenever you're flying, it's just like, oh, and you're falling, oh, and you're falling. Because, you know, Bedrock Edition can't handle the simple idea of flight. Because he's in adventure mode. But, you know can fly is like just a standard attribute of any player but it's always turned off for the most part and of course you know as soon as you turn it on it just breaks the game <laughs> how do i come up with these really cool farms uh well i mean most mob farms are pretty pretty straightforward really once you understand the mechanics and how the game works it's really easy to use that to achieve an objective so, like, if you want your guardians to die, then you need to know where they spawn in the first place. And you need to know how they spawn. And you need to know what you gotta do to get them to spawn the fastest. And generally, that means sending them to the nether, which not everyone wants to do. And sending them to the nether is really, really easy if you know where they spawn, because you just need 25 little nether portals. So once you understand the... the basics... even just, like, the, the pure basics, like, I really don't know, like, that, that much about this game. Like, there's, you know, many, many multitudes of layers of different depthness that you can go into this game like you can go all in and know absolutely every single little tiny detail about everything and go into the code and do all that good stuff and files and JSON files and whatever uh, but that's not really necessary to make good things just a just a basic understanding of most things will get you quite far
The voice I hear is a robot. That would be correct, I suppose. Aren't we all robots in the end? It takes a long time to craft. How long have we been crafting? Because I feel like it's been like 12 minutes and I've just been rambling and rambling and rambling. <laughs> rambling away as I craft items. Okay, so that is all that stuff cleaned up. Now, what else exactly do we need for the mob farms? I have not decided that. We got our sand, we got our magma. We got our things crafted down. We moved those to the side, which is good. I should probably put down some more torches. Torches are good. Get rid of all these dudes. Torches. Make sure nothing spawns where it should not. This area is looking better. It's completely temporary and super, super janky, but that's fine. My rambling entertains you, but that's good. Yay. We need a block like Amethyst for the Sea Crystal? Absolutely! I have way too many of these stupid Sea Crystals. Like, I literally had to make, like, extra chests just to store the, the Sea Crystals. Like, how many Sea Crystals I got? Like, literally. Or Prismarine Crystals. Whatever. There's so many of them. So many of them. It's ridiculous. I don't like it. Is that the only bed? I'm gonna pick up a bunch of fish. Don't give me fish. I got fish. Not that much fish, though. Okay, so thinking about the different builds that we want to do, what materials exactly do we need for those? Upgraded Guardian Farm, four times Iron Farm, Squiddy Farm. We got the magma blocks for that tonight. I need to figure out the rail lines for that, so I guess we should gather a bunch of rails, which means that we're going to need gold and redstone. We need the mob farm. We have the logs and the iron and the cobble for the super smelters. XP smelters is another thing. Storage system is another thing. We did the two kelp farms. I don't think we're gonna do two sugarcane farms. We might do a bamboo farm. I'm not sure. Build your crop farms below. Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> Pass the mob farm. No. Well, whoops, hit my keyboard. Uh, we might be able to do a passive mob farm over there. Slime farms down below, possibly. That just requires that just requires digging, though. A phantom farm also requires a lot of magma. Tree farm, basalt farm, ifkit fish farm, flower farm, netherwort farm, drown farm, potion brewer, instant brewer, ghast farm, hoglin farm, magma cube farm. Those are all going to go in the nether. Hmm. 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 So what exactly are we building in this area then? Uh, the double mob farm up top, almost certainly, plus the squid farm, plus the two kelp or the two bamboo farms. We will actually need two of them. Possibly a slime farm. A basalt farm is such an easy thing. It may as well. We can have those in the overworld. That's not an issue. AFK fish farms also such an easy thing. Flower farms, like the little, the little ones that use just uh, one flower, not like bone mealing the ground, but like bone bone mealing the flower itself. That could be easy. And then definitely potion brewers and storage systems. Getting all of that to work in this one area, that's gonna be the trick right there. Getting all of them to be. <laughs> Look at this spider, he's just looking at Silent 2. His head's like bobbing up and down. This is great, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we got some, uh... oh dang it, I can't jump. We got some rock and roll spiders up in here. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> What's my favorite ore? Probably emerald, because it's emerald. <laughs> I love it so much, he's so stupid. Oh, jeez. Spider jamming, yeah, he is, man. Someone needs to turn that into a gif. Oh, he's gonna go away. Oh, don't go away, spider, where are you going? We loved you, spider. But now you're just being silly. 
when we announce music. We have some stream music, but yeah, put that with some Metallica, some ACDC, and you'll be good to go. Look how much experience that is. Okay, let's get a little bit of a higher view on the base. Oop. So for building the two mob farms, how are those going to fit into the area and where are they going to fit is the question. No, not Joel the spider. <laughs> is his name Joe now? Gandalf Sax, oh yeah. Yeah, okay, someone go make a video, put the spider with the Gandalf Sax and then post it into the Discord. Thank you. <laughs> you have five minutes, go, 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 go. Okay, maybe I'll give you 10 because you gotta, you know, make a clip of the stream and then record that and then zoom in and crop it and stuff. So, yeah, you, okay, eight minutes starting now. Okay, the question is, how is all of this going to fit together? So, that right there is the central spot of the farm. In fact, that right there is going to be the central spot. We should turn that into a sea lantern. That way we know our central AFK spot. I totally landed in that water. Totally. Hmm. I don't think we can put the mob farms at the same level as the iron farms. So that means that the mob farms either have to go above or below the iron farms. I'm leaning towards above because you don't want to use mob farms and guardian farm at the same time you want them to be independent of one another that way they don't affect each other and mess up each other with a mob cap and whatnot so what we'll need is two afk spots we'll need that afk spot down there that one right there for the guardian farm and then we'll have another one up maybe around this layer and then that's going to be the height of the mob farms. That way, when you're standing AFK right there, you activate the iron farms, the mob farms, all the crop farms like the bamboo and the kelp will still be functioning because they don't care where you're at as long as they're loaded. And then you'll be too high up for the guardian farm to be affected at all. That'll just be completely inert. And then we're going to have to put the squid farm beneath the AFK platform where you stand for the mob farm so when you're afking for the mob farms up at this layer right here you know up in the sky maybe like y1 150 or so so like maybe right here for the afk platform heights then you'll be able to activate the squid farm which will have no impact on the mob farm Right, and no impact on the mob farm. We'll want the squid farm to be high enough up, that way if you're standing down here at the guardian farm, you don't spawn aquatic mobs above you, because that sounds like a pain to deal with. Because, you know, the mob drops are just pain. So that's going to have to go 40-something blocks up in the air. How high exactly would that be? Hmm. Making this all work together is the fun part. <laughs> okay, so this is at 86. So 44 blocks above here would take you to 90, 130. Okay. So basically right to the top of that mob farm, or the iron farm. Oh, too far. Did I grab any sea lanterns? I did not. You got 25 boxes of fish overnight at the squid farm? Yeah. Actually, you know what? If we AFK at the correct distance, we don't have to worry about fish spawns. If you go to the correct AFK spot, they won't spawn because they only spawn from like, uh, they don't spawn the full distance away from you, whereas squid and dolphins can. So 130 could be like our minecart layer. Right here could be like the minecart layer. And then right here would be like magma blocks for the next thing up. Potentially. 
These guardians got some range on them. Look at these dudes. Shooting me from all the way up, down, yeah, up and down, all around. <laughs> also, we got Varam gifting subs of two. Winter is I and Giuliani. Or Giuliana. I always want to say Giuliani. Giuliana, thank you so much for being part of the stream tonight, guys. And make sure to show some love for Varam. Varamin. Varamin. Hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, we also got some other notifications as well. We got CC with 10 biddies, so thank you so much. We got The Goop, Rainbow Jellyfish, Blink I, or Blinky The, Puggy. Uh, we got Bike, and I saw you on YouTube. Thank you so much for the follows, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's say that we need to go another 30 blocks up from here. That would take us to Y160. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't need to count because we got coordinates and I already know what coordinate we need to go to, which is this one right here. So how tall are we looking here? That's pretty tall. Although that is, uh, that would work well for having the mob farms be above the iron farm. Actually, yeah, that looks about right, really. Doesn't it? Why don't I use any capes? Oh yeah, I should have my cape on, actually. Nothing. I like my pan cape. I think I missed a couple capes from Halloween. That's sad. We need a creeper farm. You don't need a creeper farm. What you need is a mob farm. And I just released one of those today for your convenience. Oh, yeah. Hello, Jason or Egg Drop. This is looking good, actually. I do like that kind of height. That does actually work pretty well. I think that's a good balance. I think that is a good balance. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the chat. But yeah, that's pretty decent, isn't it? Good height. That would be the AFK spot. We'd have iron farm or mob farms in about this height here. And then going up to like the top of the mob farms would probably be right around 190. 195 maybe and then I think that's gonna be the highest up that we would build the base so then the squid farm would be down here this is gonna be 48 by 48 so it's gonna be three by three chunks uh, that's gonna cover up the majority of the guardian farm so it's gonna be pitch black down there at all times which is actually gonna look rather cool because uh, we can do a lot of things with lighting and the sea lanterns look really, really good for lighting. Maybe we can even do like some water walls or something, because that could be interesting too. And then the real question is, how in the hell do we do storage? Like you can't put any storage above the squid farm, above this layer. So you'd have to have it be below the mob farms or you'd have to be, have it be below this layer. Like right here or something. And then you'd be too close for that to activate. And you'd be too far away for that to activate. And you'd be too far away for the mob farms to activate. But you'd still be running the iron farms. That could work, I suppose. And then that would also make an easy item collection from the mob farms and the squid farm. Because you would just send the items downwards, which is really easy. Hmm. Just trying to work out exactly how we want to do things here. There's so many different ways to do things! And it's all super complicated because it doesn't work unless you do it just right. I don't want to drain that monument. That sounds bad. That sounds really bad. 
Although it would be kind of interesting to send all the items down so far. Like, you could have massive dropper lines. That would actually be kind of cool, you know? You could have, like, massive lines of items just falling all the time into various different hopper streams and water lines going into the one central storage. Okay, you kind of sold me on the idea. Damn it! Hmm. More planning is needed. More planning is needed. You'll see a lot more of this in the next episode of Truly Bedrock, which should be on, like, uh, Sunday, Saturday. I guess that'll be Valentine's, won't it? Yeah, Valentine's is coming up. You guys got any plans for Valentine's? Any special peoples? Or piggos? You, you gonna go out with any piggos for uh, Valentine's? <laughs> I, I'm thinking I want to make a Valentine's card with the love piggo. You know, because it's just, like, super cute. You know, put the little love pico on, like, a Valentine's card. Because it's just so damn adorable. It would be a shame to not take advantage of the love pico for the Valentine's card. You don't have your your yellow creeper cape after 11600? Interesting. I'm not, yeah, I don't know. They, they kind of disappear sometimes. It's really strange. Anyway, this is certainly coming together, isn't it? This is certainly coming together, and I am quite happy with, uh, with how it's going, really. I like it. We're going to get many, many, many more things done in the coming weeks, in the coming months, and I'm very, very happy with how this is going. Thank you guys for all your help and support on this project as well. Wouldn't it be the same without you guys? It's gonna be pretty amazing once it's, once it's done. The decoration is gonna be the main, the main problem. That's gonna be the main problem. That's probably what I'm gonna get, gonna get stuck on for a while, because I always do. You're staying indoors with the hubby because restaurants on V-Day are a nightmare. Oh, yeah. And it's a pandemic, too. What more excuses do you need to stay inside, watch some Twitch streams, and just not worry about the world? <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, that's probably about going to do it for today's live stream before I get canceled. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a good day today. Thank you, Diagonal, for gifting us up to Wemus. Or Wee Mouse, or something like that. Hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. We also got Daddy Swix following as well. Thank you so much. We're going to end the stream by raiding someone, as we always do. So stick around for that. But if you did enjoy the stream, make sure to drop a follow. It's the best way to support the channel. And make sure that you catch the next live streams. You can also find us on YouTube and in Discord and Twitter and all the other places. Links are in the chat and down below the stream. And who do we want to raid tonight? Let's see... Who do we want to raid? I'm the only person streaming through the bedrock, because of course we are. Uh, we got Bowtie Daniels. Is there a mob by the Silent 2? That's a fish. A dead fish landed on Silent 2. And you guys can't see that. Okay, we got Bowtie Daniels streaming Minecraft. We got Clipso the Alien streaming Minecraft. And Joe Hills as well. Hmm. Who y'all want to raid? We haven't raided Clipso in a while. Bowtie. Or Gels. Or Zap. Is Zap live? Dude, Zap. Why are you not in my thing? Zap113. He is live. Okay, we're gonna go we're gonna go raid Zap. He's not playing Minecraft. But you know what? That's fine. Because Zap's a cool dude. He's a chill guy. He's part of Truly Bedrock. And I think you'll enjoy his live stream. Stick around for a while. Say hi to him in chat. Let him know that you love him and that we appreciate him. Put some raid pigos or some hashtag silence into his stream. And drop a follow on his channel if you enjoy his content. And of course, I'll see you over there in his live stream and in the next one. And then there was silence, everyone. Have a good night. I love your faces. And then there was silence. <laughs>